try, 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 try. Why do you have so much trouble pronouncing Chad? Hello, everybody. My name is Edward Isaac Bear with Bear's Hide Slavin. A minute. What the hell? Oh, it was you, so I stupid old mouse. Oh, wait. No, I ca uh, called you stupid old mouse, stupid old now. He was off by so long? Uh, the half life is older than him. Bro, bro, bro. 10 years older? Yes. So, uh, why is this reaction a fission reaction? Well, what it's. Is Oh, sorry. Uh, you were just asking a genuine question. <laughs> Usually they're stupid. Um, fission is when you have like a nucleus and then you hit it with a neutron. So here is our neutron. And once you hit it with a neutron, it breaks into two baby particle uh, it breaks into two baby nuclei and gives off two more neutrons so we have to wait till chat 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 why do you have so much trouble pronouncing chat anyway you will have neutron as a reactant and the neutron as the product or two neutrons so this is because you're hitting the uranium-235 with a neutron to produce more neutrons. So now we have Find time for 24 grams of uh, strontium-94 to decay to 1.5 grams. What does have. decay mean? Sorry. Okay, I won't. I won't do that. A uh, decay essentially means when it decays. Uh, radioactive decay can ha occur in either alpha or beta forms. So alpha is when it gives off a helium atom, and beta is when it just gives off an electron and a neutron turns into a proton. A neutron turns to a proton? Uh, well, think about it. Okay. <coughs> shut up. A neutron is neutrally charged. So it can turn into a proton and an electron. Yes, yeah. it can, little man. It's like if I turn to... Uh, two subornos? Yeah, I know that would be a nightmare. But for me, it would be uh, calming down. Because stupid old Max stupid old over here is really irritating. Okay. So find time for 24 grams of uh, strontium-94 to decay to 1.5 grams. So what is 24 over 1.5? Well, this is 16. Wait, no. Uh, people probably will be able to 16. All right. So now... How, oh, what is the half-life, Mr. Math-Wife? And I'm not... Uh, half-life means I am 44 or 42, so it's going to be 21. Okay, re uh, stupid old Math stupid old. What is half-life? Half of 16. Please. Both of you are stupid. Man, I should just kick you both out of the class, but... I know. Then you have no class. <laughs> You never know the millions of people behind the screen. Anyway, now let's get to it. So, twenty uh, half life is when say you have uh, eight particles of uh, uh, what what should I call it? Strontium ninety four, I guess. So one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After one half life has passed, there will be four left. After two half lives have passed, there will be two left. After one half, uh, three half lives have passed, there will be one left. And then it's completely random when the last one will decay. 
so that means that the half of we're a oh, sorry, we have only three minutes. Shut up. So what is sixteen? Well, 16 is simply 2 to the 4th power. So that means 4 half-lives need to pass. Oh, so 4 times 29? What? Well, yeah, finally. I thought you would say something incredibly stupid, so I was already preparing my what the... So, you have 29.1 times 4, which is... Okay, I'm not doing that one anymore. 116.4. That grind. So, now... That's years, by the way. None of us will live that long. So, now we have one for, uh, uh, Xenon 140 becomes one uh, electron plus, well, me amigos. Here we put, not Xenon. We're gonna put uh, that thing that comes before Xenon. Uh, so, so we're gonna put out. Xenon, where are you? Oh, <coughs> sorry. I believe iodine is the 53rd element, and then you have iodine 140. Alright. So, now, okay. Draw an arrow to represent the path of an em emitted beta particle. Well, a beta particle is negatively charged. It's just an electron. So it's going to gravitate towards a positively charged um, plate. All right? 